Now if you're getting email messages from a specific person or company that you would like to forward on to another person but have it done automatically, then you want to use the rules wizard as we've been learning in the past couple of training videos. Only this time we're going to show you how to again automatically forward on those emails to other people. Come up here, click on the tools menu, go down to rules and alerts, click on the new rule button and then down below where it says start from a blank rule, select check messages when they arrive and click next. And in the first step it says what condition are you looking for? In other words, when we get an email from a person or people or distribution list, after I check it down below, go ahead and click on its corresponding link to define who that person or people are that we want to check when we get an email message. And we'll say just from carry. Double click, adds carry down below, click OK. And so it says apply this rule when we get a message from carry. Click next. What actions do you want Outlook to perform once we get an email from carry? Up at the top, I'm going to go ahead and check the box, forward it to a person or people or distribution list, and then down below, once I checked it, click on its corresponding link here in step two, and define who that person is that I want to forward it on to, or those people, because I can go ahead and add as many people as I want. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select contacts and double click on Jason. And like I said, if it was others, I can double click on them, or if it's a distribution list, I can double click on that. I'll just leave it as Jason and click OK. Click Next. Are there any exceptions? In other words, for example, instead of automatically always forwarding this on to Jason, what if Kerry has some keywords in there that I don't want the message forwarded on to Jason? I'd go ahead and check the box, click on its corresponding link down below, and type in those specific words. And any time that those words came up, it wouldn't forward it on to Jason. In any case, I don't have any exceptions here, so I'm going to click Next, and then spell out this rule a bit more than just Kerry here, and type and then when I'm finished, I can just go ahead and say turn on this rule, or again, I can say run this rule now with messages already in my inbox. Well, maybe you don't want to forward any messages right now on to Jason, just anything that's in the future. I'm going to go ahead and check both anyways and click finish, and then click OK, and let's take it for a test drive. I'm going to go ahead and have Carrie send me an email message. And boom, you can see it just sending it out there. Just went ahead and forwarded it on. We can tell because that little blue arrow is the same as the button up here, so it forwarded on to carry. I can double click and open it up, and it says you forward this message on, well, today in the specific time here. And then, of course, don't forget, if you don't want to turn this on anymore, you can do one of two things. Come up here and click on the Tools menu, go down to Rules and Alerts, back to where we created it, and either uncheck it so it's still there for later use, and, of course, when you uncheck it and you click OK, it's no longer running but it's still there or just go ahead and select it and delete it all together and not have to worry about it and click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.